Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm. I am currently attached to the vulture that we bought in the last episode and I am going to go ahead and uh, sell it. Yeah, I have decided the working width is just not good enough for our farm. It took... that better not hit. That better not hit. Okay, good. <laughs> It took us ages to mulch this tiny field, and it is our smallest field, in fact. And so, yeah, the, it's just not gonna work. I think if we need to mulch again, we will either lease or we will have to buy one of the bigger mulchers. Um, so yeah, that is my decision, so that is what we're going to be doing first of all. I, um, I have to do apologize for the jitteriness, the lag. It's loading stuff back in. All right, here we are, and we should have the cell point. Yep, right there. There we go. Lower it. Unfortunately, we are going to lose a little bit of money from doing this, but oh well. Lesson learned. So we can repaint it. I think that's going to make it a little bit more valuable, and then we can sell it. There we go. So now we have 40,726 euros in the bank. Now before we leave, I think I want to buy a power wash thing machine, wherever it is, tools. Yeah, this thing right here, because what's this? A weather station improves improves the weather forecast available to your farm. I didn't know you could get that. I mean, those are some cool things. Anyway, I just want the the power washer because our tractor is quite dirty and I like to keep things tidy, so where should we place this? I guess right here would kind of make sense. It's the place with the largest space. Here it is. It would work over here, to be honest, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe over here. Maybe over here. I don't know if we can actually move this later in the future. Here it could also work because it's kind of... Yeah, I think, I think here would be better or best. Maybe like in the corner over here. Hmm. Could do it here as well. Yeah, here I think. Mm, mm. I've got to place it right by the tree. There we go. It's been done. <laughs> it's been done. And then we're going to give this tractor a wash. And then we're going to take a look at the jobs today. I've already checked out the chickens and the sheep. They are doing perfectly fine. And the grass field, as you saw as we drove past it, I just didn't point it out, has already started growing. So we're not going to roll it. Rolling is something that you do right after you've put in the seed before it has actually started growing like the grass has so yeah uh, we won't be rolling at that field maybe we will roll the next one field 7 and field 6 is still not quite ready for harvest which I will show on the map in just a moment so we might skip to the next day or we might pick up a contract but first let's test our brand new power washer it has to be done this tractor desperately needs a wash so let's get that done. ASAP, play the game of avoid the chickens. And there it is. Turn off the engine is probably a good idea. Pick this up and give it a wash. I mean, look at that. Looks almost brand new. Yep, that's beautiful. That is beautiful right so let's head into the map as you can see if we head on over to growth field seven and six is not quite done my fear is the fact that the beetroot and the sunflowers are going to be done at the same time uh let's see sunflowers they're going to be harvestable in november and this yep november as well and if we go past it it's going to wither that's very unfortunate. I should have looked at that when I bought those fields because, um, yeah, that's going to make it really, really, really busy. Um, but I don't think we're going to skip because I did look at the contracts. And while there is a lot, uh, baling would be really cool because we might be able to sell some of the silage bales after the contract. So while this one is a pretty good amount of money, it's also a large field, field 37 this one uh i mean it's maybe five six times bigger than our field one but there's another one way at the bottom for harvesting sugar beet yes which is also something that we have so maybe getting practice in wouldn't be a bad idea well now that i think of it doing bailing is again this is some pretty decent equipment right here wouldn't be half bad 
That wouldn't be bad. Plus, again, the any bales that are left over, we would be able to get. However, I just realized that this is not silage bales. This is silage bales. Hmm. And this is field 36 right here. Wow, that's a weird looking field. Field 36. <laughs> that looks so weird. It's this entire... Wow. I might take that, actually, because these are silage bales. Uh... Yeah, let's, 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 let's do it. I'll borrow the items, we'll get 10,000, and we'll be able to hopefully sell a couple of the silage bales. Yep, done it. It's been done. Right, let's uh, leave the tractor there. Let's, uh, let's take a taxi over to the shop. Oh, there, here we are. All right, let's see what we got to deal with. We got the Fent 314 Vario, probably butchering that. We got a mower, front mower and side mower. That's good. Pretty sure that's tether. Baler, wrapper. Never gonna use these. I'm gonna use my own front loader, I think, for the loading. Uh, probably going to use my own trailer as well, because I've tried using those before. And, well... There we go. And, well, I hate it. <laughs> so while this is an... It is... This isn't exactly working on our own farm. We are getting extra money. We're helping farmers in the area. And also, hopefully, we will get some of the silage bales in return as well. Which is going to be even more money. So that's good. Uh, right. Field 36. It is blinking in the minimap. Oop. So let's get over there. I don't think it's going to be a massive job, to be honest. Because I think with this mower setup, it's going to be pretty easy. Let me see, where on earth am I going? Uh, yes, I think this is correct. We're actually gonna get to see quite a lot of the scenery on this map with this trip. I think turning... Oh, it's right there actually, I see it on the map, okay. Uh, yes, we will have to turn right here. Quite a tight turn. Yeah, I absolutely love the scenery of this map. And the lighting and everything, I absolutely love it. Yeah, so if we go... Yeah, on the right here, you can hear the water to the right of us as well. That's really cool. And of course, this 90 degree turn. Then we turn left, I'm pretty sure. At the next junction, and then we'll have to field to our right. In fact, I see it right up there. Stop sign. Has to stop. I can't see anything from the ginormous tablet in the way, but that's fine. And here we are. This is the field. So, unfold you. Unfold you. And we'll start mowing. Lower. And... Oh, that's lower. I know you can do, I believe, shift under the button to turn on everything. Control. Yep, control. There we go. We are now mowing, so we'll get this side first. This machine is loud. <laughs> I'm gonna try and remember to adjust the volume in the edit. But yeah, we're mowing. This is good. This is good practice for us as well. Okay, this field is steep. Wow, I hadn't realized that. We're gonna be vertical this entire time. What on earth? <laughs> right, well, I'm gonna take the sides here first, or the edges, I should say, all the way around. And yeah, well, uh, we'll see how this goes. Let's get this field mode. It is looking pretty decent right now. Doing this at a pretty decent speed. So, I'll see you right at the end of this, assuming I don't crash on the way. <laughs> Let's get this mode.
And uh, there we go. Field has been mowed. So now all I need to do is go ahead and get the t tether. I can never remember whether or not it is called the tether or the other thing that makes it into turns it into a swath essentially. But we'll get the swath making thingy, and then I'm <laughs> just gonna bail it, and then job is done. Well, bail it, wrap it, load it, sell it. But it'll be quick. Actually, I just got a very big fear. Because the field is so... Like, steep. I cannot allow one of the bales to turn the way of pointing towards the river. Uh, where on earth am I going? Turn on. Thank you. Uh, yes. This way. <laughs> yeah, I, can I cannot allow any of the bales... To like the rolling side face be facing the the river otherwise they're gonna go in the river and that wouldn't be good it's would make that that's gonna make the job very very more, much more difficult all right drop that off drop the other thing off drive out and the next machine is going to be that thing should I be concerned by the fact that it's so tiny? What? Why do I feel like it's tiny compared to the field that we have? Hold on. Because it is tiny. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Right, well, here we are again. And, uh... Yeah, this might take a little bit longer <laughs> than actually mowing it. Um, and also, missing pieces are going to be a lot more difficult. But I'm going to do my best, and I'll see you, I suppose, when this is done. All right, well, that was uh, that. Um, definitely not the tether that I'm going to buy if we ever buy a tether or whatever this thing is called. I don't remember now. <laughs> Again, hold on. We need to look now. Tethers, tether, 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 tether. That's what we have somewhere. Tether, weeders, bale loaders, bale wrappers, windrowers, tethers. A tether turns grass around so it can drive faster. Right, it's not a it's not a tether, it's a windrower. Definitely not buying that one ever. <laughs> For making swaths. Really, really don't like that tool. Much rather have one that has two 
uh, two of the turning things and then assembles it in, a, in one big line behind the tractor. The other thing was just horrendous. But anyway, that was that. Not too bad. And now, eh, we just gotta bail it, wrap it, and sell it. And again, for the collecting and selling part, I'm going to use my own tractor with my own uh, the, the trailer. With my own trailer and my own pickup uh, front load thing. Because using the two that they gave... No. Never. <laughs> if you watched my season one, you'll understand why. Okay, I think this thing should be pretty... Yeah, it's actually pretty wide, so hopefully it can handle... The swaths that I have made. We will find out. I have not adjusted any. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I adjust anything? Can I? Turn on, hold on, turn off. Select. Mm, automatic drop, yes. Okay, I thought I could maybe change the size of it. I cannot. That makes sense with this type of baler. So let's just uh, continue. I think this is probably going to be easiest to do from first person view. Because I can keep the swath directly in the center of the tractor and do it easily that way. Okay, that's actually this grass is actually very well. <laughs> this is a going to be a lot of drive stop, drive stop. If anyone is getting uh car sick from this video, I do very much apologize because it <laughs> because starting and stopping it is gonna be the primary thing that we do so enjoy the time lapse or skip it <laughs> Alright, that is the bailing done. Actually, hold on. Mm. I mean, there's a tiny bit over here, but it doesn't. It wouldn't be able to fit, I don't think, anyway. I'm gonna leave the baler here. How about that? I'm gonna leave the baler here. I still need to go and get the wrapper, but I, I don't think that would fit into one bale anyway. However, I might be able to unload it anyway. Hmm. We'll see. Anyway, gotta go ahead and get the wrapper now. That actually wasn't too bad. And then, yeah, wrapping the bales are gonna be easy. Loading them are going to be even easier. <laughs> and then, time to see how much money we get. I wonder how many silage bales we'll get extra. That's gonna be exciting to see. And actually, before I leave with the wrapper, I'm going to go ahead and go to my tractor. 
I'm gonna attach the front loader and the trailer and then I'm going to set a worker to get the tractor delivered by the field. Oh yeah, I left my front loader in there, didn't I? And the sheep. Because yeah, then I don't have to waste time while I'm wrapping this tra tra uh, tractor should that be uh, arriving at oop, <laughs> at that field. Come on, come on. There we go. That should be correct. Yes, that is fine. Don't know how well the worker will be able to actually like transport this tractor with the trailer on, but. We'll see. But I suppose there's only one way of finding out. Let's quickly get these down. If I can multitask. There we go. Yep. 7,000 liters of grass. We'll place them here. That should do. And place this down. Detach that. Attach the bucket. Turning the wrong way. That doesn't help the situation. There we go. Now I don't need the bucket, but I need to unload the trailer in order for me to use it, of course. Gonna Place it over here for now. It's out of the way enough. Do that. Reattach <laughs> to the pallet fork. <laughs> Imagine doing this in real life. Like right now, we're just pressing buttons and just staying in the tractor. But for each equipment, you need to get out, get it attached, deal with it. Uh, it's a mess. There we go. Right, get this to the front door or the front entrance. All right, place it here, and let's see if we can get it to do the thing. What's up, twenty percent? Well, it's a lot more. Um, right, select this and no, go here, and then do this. Create job. Go to, and I want you to go to this field right here. So this road, like this. Start job. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I mean, listen. If it insists, I'll. I. I won't. I. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. Right. Let's get to the field. <laughs> You know, maybe the airflow is going to be better. It's going to be, of course, it's blocked by an object. It, the airflow is going to be better. There's something that I don't know about in that setup right there that clearly is better, right? I mean, that's that's the obvious like answer to this. All right, before we begin this bailing process, what on? Earth, did you try and do? How? I mean, it 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 has to have like hit something or someone. I don't. You gotta target is unreachable. What is going on? Okay, let me try and... Oh. Oh, well, that's happy. Yeah, I'm so sorry, traffic. Uh, I'm trying to work this out. Lift this. Let me try one more time here. Create job. Start job. This is weird. Okay, target's not reachable. Apparently. I guess I'll do it myself then. Now my tractor actually did struggle with that hill with this equipment, so I think I'm going to 
use the least tractor to pull the bales and use this one just for loading them. I think that's going to be the best thing to do, even though I'll have to transport some by myself, but for the big loads, yeah, I'm gonna use the least tractor. <laughs> I think it has a little bit more horsepower than mine. Right, as we're here now, everything in position, let's finally finish this job. Gonna grab a bale, this one, might as well put it as close to the uh, don't scratch the baler. Pick up point as possible as we drop it off. Uh, please auto offload. Thank you. All right, this should be done very quickly. I'll see you then. All right, three bales remaining. So I'm gonna drive this one up here, and while it's wrapping, I'm going to start to load onto the trailer if I can, just to give it a start and a shot. Still need this one, this one, and the other one, but let's give this a shot. That one is rolling as well, so let's try and catch that while we still can. Get back here. No escaping allowed. Gotcha. And I should be able to grab the solid one as well, maybe? Yes. Perfect. Let's see if I can get those two. I could. Perfect. Now it is quite heavy. I should have had my weight on this tractor, but I forgot to put it on, so... <laughs> Yeah, I really should have my weight on. Alright, that's the first three. Add a strap on that. And... Just gotta keep going. Only a few more left. Final bale to wrap. Then I'm going to detach the wrapper and attach the, the trailer there to that one. Just so it can actually pull it. Now it's time to get the final few bales on here. Final few. Well, we're gonna probably have to go... Th three times I'm going to that's going to be my guess anyway all right can detach this now I wonder how many liters of silage we're actually going to have at the end of this wow 21,000 so far that's not bad we can have one two three four more bales on this thing Hmm, so maybe two more two more passes then. Alright. Fully loaded. I guess I could add more up there, but I think that would be a bit too much uh, <laughs> to deliver. Right, I need to figure out where we are. Well, that's the horn. I need to figure out where we're actually going. We're going in this direction. This has actually taken a lot longer than I expected it to. It always does. I should really start adding an hour to my expectations or so. <laughs> and I also let it go dark. I really want it to be daylight. I want it to be realistic with the time that it actually starts getting late towards the end of the episode. But doing that can be difficult, having it at times 10 and then times uh, 5, and then times 15, depending on the jobs that we do that day. Some days we have a lot to do, some days we don't have a lot to do. So it's hard to find that middle ground because I don't want it to be completely dark during the video because then, well, that's not as nice to look at. Anyway, here we are, right down the road, 56,000 liters of silage. I wonder how much of this, like, 
how much we're actually going to get for us after this is done. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Like, I really don't know where I'm supposed to go. At all. Um, that looks like livestock. Maybe this one? Could be this one. Yep. It's this one. Okay, 93% transported. We did like half. So I think... I honestly think like two more bales. And the rest is ours. I actually think two more bales and the rest is ours. Okay, I did not expect that. This is really good money. This has definitely been worth it, if that's the case. Wow. Like, it went from 73% to 93 with three more bales. So, I think two, three max, three more bales, and then... Well, the rest of the silence is ours. <laughs> okay, this might have been a good job after all. Now it says 94% completed. Just as I'm driving. Where does that extra percentage come from? Right, well, I'm going to attach three or load three up to the trailer. And well, maybe just these two and then, yeah, I'm going to do three or four. Three. I'll do three on the trailer because I think it will take extra if there's extra. Not for us. Well, it will take for us, but I don't want it to be sold right now. Oh, oh, come on. Unless, of course, we're in a really good... Yeah, I definitely don't want to sell it now. We can get a lot more f uh, money from that. But that's... What was that? 300, 340 per 1,000 liters. If that, if we can get a load of just 40,000, that's going to be a lot of money. That's going to be a really, really good amount of money right there for the farm. That's actually very exciting. All right, can I do this? easier in third person. Hmm. Maybe I can. Right, there we go. That's the three bales. I'm gonna turn this tractor off for now. And let's go put these in and let's... I think that's the contract completed. Oh, I didn't even cable these up. <laughs> Wait, 7,000. I lost one. I added a third. Oh, no. Yep. This is why you strap on the straps before you go ahead and uh, and drive away. And not while you're driving. <laughs> hmm. That is... <laughs> causing a traffic jam. Yep. Yep. I went back. There we go. Got it. Alright. Here we go. Release these. And boom! Contract on field 36 finished. Now, the contract is finished, I still have this machinery. So I'm going to drive this back to the field. Just because if, if I had the contract now, well then the... My trailer is down here and I don't want to drive down to get it to then drive back up again. So that, that wouldn't be ideal. But yeah, that's the contract completed. Finally, it took a lot longer than expected. But with the amount of bales that we now have for us this has been a really really good contract all right that was that so what i'm going to do now is go ahead i i think the, the bales and down machinery is still going to to stay here so i'm going to quickly save the game then we're going to finish the contract that is collect our ten thousand euros yep and there we go and guys, I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, it'll be a new day, and we have will have harvesting to do. But not only that, we need to collect these. Um... Okay, I thought my trailer was gone, uh, but yeah, we're gonna collect these um, bales. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four. Turn on the flashlight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wait a minute. 14, 15, 16. <laughs> okay, 16 bales. 
16 bales and one bale is 3,500 liters. You guys can do the math. It, it, it's pretty good money. If the la if the bale if the bale earlier that we sold was 2,200, if we just say 2,300, 400, if we could get that per bale. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. Sorry, it's been a it, yeah, it, it's a bit of a long task, but I thought, you know what? Let's just do it. Get the extra money in. We might need it for leasing machinery for the beetroots and whatnot. Beetroots? No, sugar beet. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, overall, it has been a great addition or a great job for the farm. So, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you do, so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.